The mission of the Huck Institutes of Genome Sciences is to foster interdisciplinary research to uncover uh, the functional parts of genomes. In particular, the sciences of the genome require that computer scientists, molecular biologists, evolutionary biologists, statisticians, people that model and analyze data, work with each other very closely in large teams. And uh, the mission of the Institute is exactly to facilitate this type of operation. Well, so there's a number of centers at Penn State, and the whole point of centers is to bring together uh, the students, uh, the faculty, uh, postdocs, uh, technicians, uh, all sorts of people, the scientists that work on a common problem, uh, for example, in gene regulation or in evolutionary genomics. Uh, the whole goal is to bring them together where they can share ideas. Uh, one in particular um, is well, I'm the director of the Center for Eukaryotic uh, uh, Gene Expression. And um, we get together once a week, and we've been doing that for over 25 years. As the Center for Systems Genomics Director, which is actually one of the newest centers here at Penn State, we're really interested in integrating different types of data that we're collecting in genome sciences. And so really looking at variability in DNA and what happens as it's converted to RNA and proteins and combining that with information about the environment and clinical variables to try to start to understand disease processes and etiology. Um, the biggest challenge is that all of this data is is what's being called big data. It's very large integrating this information just in terms of computing systems and storage and really getting at what are the key elements in the data that are important for the questions that we're asking. The main issues in uh, computing and genome science is that this is a new discipline. Uh, data uh, has started to accumulate in biology to a very large extent since about 2005 when the first true highly parallel sequencing technology was published. And as a result, uh, the majority of biologists cannot really easily utilize this data. So to address some of these issues, which I just mentioned, specifically how biologists use genomic data, we developed the Galaxy platform. Galaxy is a web-based platform for high-throughput analysis of genomic data. So essentially, it allows experimental biologists who can't uh, program or who cannot do sophisticated statistical analysis of the data to do these analysis through the web. We're in a genomics frontier, okay, and that has been brought about by deep sequencing, that machine back there, where we can sequence a million times more DNA sequence, a billion times more DNA sequences than we could 10 years ago. That changes the way you do technology I and mean, the way you do experiments. It just can't change. It's a real game changer. In 2008, um, a group of colleagues from the University Park campus and from the Hershey campus, uh, including myself, uh, started the Center for Medical Genomics. We study patient genomes with the goal of preventing diseases and curing diseases. Our most recent collaboration is with Dr. Ian Poole from the Department of Pediatrics at Hershey. Together with him, we're studying childhood obesity, one of the most important epidemics of the 21st century. We're going to follow a large cohort of newborns uh, and we'll find the genes that are responsible for developing obesity in some of them. Graduate students are really central to our work. Graduate students usually work on the same project, but with different professors specializing in different disciplines. In this way, they obtain really an interdisciplinary training, which is critical uh, for their skills after they graduate from Penn State. The training, not just in terms of the courses that are offered or the programs that are structured, but the mentoring, the advising. Most of the young scientists that work with us work with at least three of us. Yeah. Okay, which some may think it's a pain because you have three people <laughs> that ask you to do things. It, but in is fact, it, it can be. Or is it challenging? I, I yeah. believe it can be extremely <laughs> enriching. Right. Cool thing about Penn State that everybody here likes each other. They get along pretty well, and when they get along, they talk to each other. They work together. They're cooperative. That lowers the barriers, and when you lower these barriers, it's a much 
much more um, dynamic exchange of ideas. And that just allows us to do much more things because no person is an island. No person can really push their science by themselves. We need to talk to each other, exchange ideas. And through that, we can really sort of push the frontiers. This research for over 40 years, and it's really just so gratifying to see that uh, we really are truly, as a field, we're, we're making real progress. And the fantastic work in genomics as uh, grew up here and, and is being fostered at Penn State has been a major player. And we're certainly not the only players, but, but we, we've, uh, we've done some good.